Welcome to Fort Collins, Colorado, home to the Colorado State Rams, settled at just over 5,000 feet, and we have a game that will live up to the altitude. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we see a squad from the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on a team from the Mountain West, the Colorado State Rams. First down here for the offense. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. How about that elusiveness? He's got space. A huge gain on that one before he ran out of bounds, and he has the first down. Nice job getting outside, right? Those running backs, they get on those tracks, they run outside. Now they're in the open field. It's so tough. Those safeties are flying down, try to get an angle, but you could tell the speed sets him up, makes the big play out to the left. The offense down to the 22 on first and 10. From the gun, running back gets the give. Got some room, headed to the goal line. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Buffaloes! This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. They've really had a great year, and that's why they're a top-10 offense. And the Colorado offense is coming back onto the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice. Going over the top. He holds it in and nobody's close. And he'll take it to the house. He got loose. So, guys, we'll get another look at this offense. Here we go. Ready. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Tackle is made after the first down. Now, I love when players understand situations and they understand where the first down. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Ready. Ready. He'll pull it on the read. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. We had a barn burner the last time these two teams played. And no reason to expect anything else between these two bitter rivals. Attention to detail. Deep shot for the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Buffs. No step back in week three. They have been sharp as they extend the lead. Quarterbacks love receivers that can get separation, but that amount of separation uh, is a little excessive. I agree, Reese, and I think the defense needs to have a little powwow on the sidelines. Here we go. 
Colorado has the ball back, and the Buffaloes hoping to put their team in prime position on offense. This has been exactly the way you draw things up, David. The offense has really been moving the football. Oh, look out! He's at the 40, the 20, the 10, and he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Colorado! You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent, and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much, so you take the field against your rival, you're able to put forth a performance like that. That is worth its weight in gold, David. Unbelievable effort here by the winning team of bragging rights now for a while bragging rights for a while. It's, it's a fun thing to be able to accomplish. Now we also got to take in the next couple games because this is always, there's a letdown that naturally happens after these big rivalry wins. We feel like our chest is poked out. We got to look on to the next game, focus in on this next one. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.